So we already made one, two, three stalls for our barn. And for us, space is an issue. So I don't think we're gonna add too many more stalls. Um, actually, we'll probably just leave it at three. But we wanna set it up differently. So I'm just going to move the boxes around a little to make a hallway. Um, I think you're missing something here. Right, we do have a large empty space right here. And I think this is gonna be perfect for like a tack room, feed room, pretty much a multi-purpose room that has to all fit right here. And I started on it. I just didn't, you know, finish it. But that didn't stop little Froggy from playing with it. Come on, folks, we're moving in. So I'm just going to organize this space and begin setting up the room. So first, I have to take everything out, including you, little bunnies. The box is made similar to the stalls, only this time I cut a large opening in the front. However, I didn't finish covering the sides. So let me do that first. We did a crisscross under the back window, hardwood floors on the inside with a white trim. We have these briar saddle stands, but we need something that takes up less space. So I unfold a paper clip cut off the small end, bend it, and I push it into the wall so that the cut ends are going between the layers of cardboard. Cut popsicle sticks. I glue five together, glue it on top of the paper clip and to the wall. Glue cut popsicle sticks underneath for support so there is a place to put the saddles. Unfold and cut the big end of a paper clip. I'm just gonna bend up and then bend it back making this little L-shaped hook. Push them into the wall to hold bridles and halters. Then I glued covered cardboard to the back wall to make some shelves. We modified the gardening table from our secret garden to be a work table. We made some barrels from our trash can video and we're gonna say they're filled with alfalfa pellets and oats. I can actually put stuff in them on the other side and I, I might get around to that later. Right now they just look like they're closed barrels. I've even got a little briar scoop to lay on top. I neatly cover a piece of white paper with tape, glued it to some cardboard, added a popsicle stick frame and a chain to make a dry erase board for the feed chart. And then she can just remove it and write on it later. And this looks like a pretty good start for our tack room. So I'm just gonna start putting everything back in. Like her briar dressage saddle, a bridle, helmets, a few riding crops that we made in a previous video, store some blankets on the shelves. We made these little clippers in our dog caddy video, along with this little grooming box. I'm using a permanent marker to draw the lines on the feed chart. So now we can use a dry erase marker, and when we erase, the lines are still there. And I'm just gonna put that back on the wall. We put a few more items around on the shelves and these are little butter containers and we thought they looked a lot like small buckets that you would mix grain in. You just stack them right there. I printed off a few pictures of Little Froggy to personalize the space. And you're done. Happy crafting! Give a shout out to Crazy Crafter123. What's up? Helmet? Check. Oh, are you going riding? No, it's feeding time. Whoa, stand back, civilian. I'm going in. 